A seed wheel can be added to any LP800 or LP2000 seed treater to improve seed flow accuracy and save time. In this section, we will explain how to install and operate a seed wheel on an LP800 seed treater. To add a seed wheel to your existing LP treater, you will first need to remove the top proximity switch. Then remove the extension ring. Next, remove the lower proximity switch. Install the provided plug in the hole left in the supply hopper by the lower proximity switch. Install the flow balancer so that the ends will be directly under the discharge holes of the seed wheel. Permanent installation is recommended. The flow balancer is not used when mounting to a LP2000. Using the alignment bolts, you will need to set the seed wheel to the seed treater. Make sure the lower nut is hand tight against the upper nut of the alignment bolts. Put a small amount of sealant on the flange of the supply hopper to hold the included foam seal in place. Then install the four pieces of foam seal on top of the supply hopper flange. Set the seed wheel in place so that the junction box is offset just to the right of the forward position. Thread the lower nuts down to the seed treater flange and check for even spacing around the seed wheel. Use the provided flange nuts under the treater flange to hold the seed wheel in position. This is done to ensure the bottom plate of the seed wheel and remove the proximity switches from the machine. Install the proximity switch that is shipped with the seed wheel back into the extension ring. Make sure you have no less than three quarters of an inch of thread showing on the inside of the extension ring. This will help the sensor work properly. Next, zip tie the wiring back to the junction box. Remove the junction box panel and wire the proximity switch into the junction box of the seed wheel. Refer to the seed wheel manual or your local USC dealer for any questions about installation.
Next, you will need to install the seed wheel control panel. Mount the panel directly above the seed treater control panel by using one of the seed wheel alignment bolts. Then connect the two cords from the seed wheel control panel to the seed wheel junction box. Wire the four wire cord coming from the seed wheel panel into the seed treater control panel. Contact your local USC dealer or reference your manual for any questions on installation. Once the installation has been completed, you can set the treater with seed wheel in place and resupply power to the treater. Finally, ensure the seed flow gate on the treater is set to its most open position. We will now go over seed flow calibration. Begin by taking a sample of the seed that you will be treating. First, place the provided seed sample cup on top of the scale and zero the scale. Using the seed sample cup, funnel, and stand, take a sample of seed. Then, using a straight edge, strike off the top of the cup. Set the cup of seed back onto the scale to weigh the sample. The calibration worksheet is provided with the seed wheel. This will allow you to enter in the data needed in order to determine the seed flow and liquid flow. Let's say that your total pounds to treat is 2,000. Your cup weight in pounds is 3.56. Your desired speed to treat at is 750 pounds per minute and the ounces per hundred weight of chemical to be used is five. The program will show you to set your seed wheel RPM to approximately 5.11. It will take about 160 seconds or two minutes and 40 seconds to run the seed through the treater. The treater will use approximately 37.5 ounces per minute of liquid. The entire run will use total of 100 ounces of that liquid. On your seed wheel panel, turn the seed wheel to on and using the digital readout and the speed adjustment dial, set the seed wheel RPM sensor so that it reads 5.11. Then turn the seed wheel to the off position. After the seed wheel has been set and liquid flow has been calibrated, you can begin treating seed. Begin by filling the surge hopper with the seed to be treated. 
and placing a container to catch the seed as it exits the discharge end of the treater. Then turn all necessary seed treater switches to the on position. Open the gate on the bottom of the surge hopper to begin feeding seed into the inlet conveyor. Allow the supply hopper above the seed wheel to fill up and shut down the inlet conveyor. Once the seed wheel hopper has been filled, place the pump switch in the auto position and turn the seed wheel to the on position. This will begin the seed treating process. Seed will begin moving through the seed wheel, down the atomizer chamber, and out the drum. Chemical will be automatically applied to the seed based on the presence of the seed at the proximity sensors within the seed wheel. A seed wheel can dramatically improve accuracy and save time when calibrating and treating seed.